A question from, I'm probably mispronouncing it, Gemma. I have found it hard to avoid doomerism. Doomerism. How do I avoid losing all hope? Uh, and then another question that comes from Patrick. Is it ever going to get any better? Should I maintain any will to live? Now, that's a little bit makes me nervous, Patrick. Yes, you should maintain a will to live. And, you know, look, these are very tough times. And I think what we have to do is be honest about it and say these are. There's the extreme and oppressive t heat that's taking hold from coast to coast. More than 85 million Americans under heat alerts this morning. Those sweltering temperatures could break more records this weekend. And to that. Tough times, but these are not the only tough times. This country has experience, or the American people have experience, or the world has experience, you know? The 1930s, uh, 25 during the Depression, 25% of people in this country were unemployed. And, um, you know, in 1941, when we had to deal with both Japan and, and, and Germany and, and the rise of Nazism and Japanese imperialism. This is what I mean. I'm at Burger King, and uh, they're playing the hearing, ins they're playing the insurrection hearing, and no one really cares at all, or is even tuned in. As our nation falls apart, as our republic is ceases to be functioning for the average human. God, that this president knows what she's doing. I hope she's got us all taken care of, but the truth is, I think this whole administration has completely lost their fucking mind, and I think we're all gonna die! Like, honestly, guys, this, this is how we live in the States. All your creature comforts, everything disposable in a plastic bag, easy to access, store grains at scale and distribute, rinse and repeat, completely asleep, yeah, just completely asleep. Tonight, 7.2 million Olympic-sized swimming pools full of water. That is how much ice melted in Greenland in just three days this week during the unprecedented global heat wave. As we walk around, just mind-numbing, it's mind-numbing. All of this is going bye-bye. We're literally destroying our future. But we chose this. This is how we chose to go out. See it? This is how we're choosing to go out. Strangers. You don't even you don't even fucking talk to anybody. You just walk around. I know it's like this in other countries. Like strangers, everybody just This is how we're going out. By the end of this decade, no more food supply. Chaos. Between inflation and the supply chain crisis, costs were already sky high for both farmers and shoppers. But now, get ready for heatflation. Extreme temperatures are causing lower crop yields, which means less selection and higher prices. Many ranchers are also selling off their cattle because they just can't take care of them in this heat and with this drought. So that will also drive up costs for consumers this fall. Political crisis. I can't even stand to look at it anymore. I can't even look at, I can't even look at children the same way. You know, I see them and I'm like, what the fuck are we doing? Is this really, do I have the words for this? What are the words for this? And so what's the plan? What's the plan, Stan? Um, considering I lived six years alone and my entire 20s was spent working. I never made it anywhere, all right? I never got anywhere. Um, at this point, you know, I'm moving out to Alabama and I'm just gonna be relying on the food bank and maybe find, most likely find a job in town, just part-time and do a little DoorDash and Grubhub maybe still. So you decided to be a boomer. I'll just be Jules, Vincent. No more, no less. No, Jules. You decided to be a boomer. Just like all those pieces of shit out there who beg for change, who sleep in garbage bins, eat what I throw away. They got a name for that, Jules. It's called a boomer. And without a job, a residence, or legal tender, that's what you're gonna be, man. You're gonna be a fucking boomer. Look, my friend, this is just where you and I differ. Got some! I could definitely do DoorDash, most likely. Um... 
just to enjoy the retirement. You know, my friend let me know that you know you don't have to be with people all the time to be happy, and you know you have this little time carved out for yourself. So I couldn't be more grateful than to have this community on YouTube. And ideally, I would like to have all of you guys in one place. Um, we might be forced together soon. Um, but we know the trajectory. The trajectory is not good. And uh, someone just wrote, it would take like $16 trillion to get off fossil fuels. Jeff, you just said that. Um, that's that's, that's mind-blowing, right? And apparently 10 financial actors have access to 49.5%, basically half of the world's fossil fuel production is allocated to 10 financial firms. So if there were to be any transition at all, it would need to uh, happen like years ago. Um, and so I'm really just taking hindsight on my life. How, how would I have liked to live this? And I, and I certainly just, I can't deal with traffic and uh, red, Necks and normies and all that. I mean, even one of my subscribers, Bob, if you're still watching, you're probably unsubscribed, considering how you went Buddhism. Um, you turned into a Buddhist monk. Uh, you said the same thing to me, and you're you're much older. Is you're just like, why even bother? Just like, why even bother? Just just get out. You know, get out of all of this. Not just for safety reasons, but also for my sanity. You know. Uh, there is no society. I didn't feel any connection, especially during COVID. Uh, I just lived through that and we didn't get jack squat. I mean, we just funneled $2 trillion into the world's billionaires. And now we're in a world war, essentially. And uh, yeah, just enjoy the tidbit moments. You know, I'll take my cat with me. She, My cat reminds me to have a heart and, you know, appreciate the little, the little things still. Because my soul is pretty hardened and crystallized at this point. I mean, I want to run up to these girls and I want to shout and jump in their face and show them where we're heading. Uh, but they're dead ass asleep. And so you just got to let sleeping people lie. And if we can't all agree at the bare minimum that a giant comet the size of Mount Everest hurtling its way towards planet Earth is not a fucking good thing, then what the hell happened to us? You know, there's no words that can comprehend this. You know, doom, the end of the world. This is pure insanity. What we're doing right now is pure insanity. So I'll be relying on all of you guys' support. Uh, I think I finally feel, I feel complete, you know? Like, I've done my life adventures, I found love with a woman, you know, and had that connection while it was there. And that lets me know I'm human, and uh, this is the experience, and, you know, now for the bohemian life, you know. I really don't look, I mean, clearly there's mentally ill people on the streets everywhere, and we treat them horribly, but... You know, people who willingly choose this life of sacrifice, of not being involved with, with money as much as they can, besides their basic needs. You know, it's not a comfortable lifestyle. I wasn't going to the office every day. I wasn't trying to raise four kids blindly. I knew my place in the universe and where we were headed. As a collective species on this planet, you feel? Okay guys, I appreciate you all. Just wanted to check in. Happy Friday. Maybe I'll talk to you next week. Maybe not. Later.